Hi, I'm Steph, and today I'm going to talk about inflatable versus foldable kayaks, specifically the Body Glove Porter Inflatable Kayak Slash Stand Up Paddleboard. Now, this might look a little different uh, than what you're used to seeing in a kayak because it's actually considered a kayak and stand up paddleboard, which means you can do both activities on it. Uh, but the reason why it is considered a kayak is because it has the place for your feet and it has places to attach the kayak seat to, and it comes with the seat. So uh, it kind of does best of both worlds but it is more traditional what you would think of a stand-up paddleboard in the look of it. And then the foldable we're going to talk about is the Oryu Kayak Inlet. And the foldable kayak I've had for about eight months now and the inflatable kayak we've had for about seven months. So before we start, a disclaimer, not all inflatables are the same. So um, I'm not going to go into the ins and outs of inflatable kayaks, but you'll see a variety of prices and a variety of types of inflatables out there. The inflatable we have uses drop stitch technology, and that is a new type of technology which allows inflatables to be way more rigid than they could before. You can put higher pressure in them so they become so rigid that you can almost not even tell that they're inflatable. So that is what I'm going to be talking about today is a high quality inflatable and a high quality foldable kayak. So all of that's going to lead me into the price. So the price of these two right here, the inflatable actually we got for $530 from Costco, which is a warehouse store here in the United States, but it retails for $9.99, so $1,000 US dollars. And the Oryu kayak, I paid $899 US dollars, so almost $1,000, but definitely less expensive than the retail price of the inflatable. And at the end, I'll tell you if I would pay $1,000 for this inflatable. <music> So the first thing you gotta do when you have a kayak is you gotta put it together so you can get on the water. And so let's look at that. This is a clip right here of me putting together both of these boats. And you'll see I have a pump pumping up the inflatable because I think that is a must with an inflatable. I tried hand pumping it and I don't have time for that. So an inflatable, having an electric pump is a must. And we actually did a video comparing two pumps previously. And you may notice that this pump is different than that that we showed uh, in that video. So this is a pump that um, I got after that video and I really like it. Uh, I'll put a link to it in the description. I, uh, it's worked really well for us and it kind of checks all the boxes of what I needed in a pump. So here you can see I was done with the Oryu before the inflatable and the foldable took me three minutes to put together. The inflatable, it took about six minutes. So that really, and you can see we actually started putting the seat on even before it was done being inflated. Three minutes difference is really not that big a deal. But what I wanna tell you is that when you have the inflatable, that pump makes noise. Now I can tell you from experience that being out in nature, I don't like to have to have the sound of the pump going for six minutes. It may seem like a little thing, but the uh, the pump is kind of annoying. Sometimes we wear earplugs just because it, it can be a little loud. And the foldable, basically, there's no noise, no anything needed. You just kind of put it together. And that leads me to what stuff do you need to put it together? Uh, so like I said, the Oryu, you don't need anything because the box, this right here, this is the kayak. So it folds right out into itself. Um, it doesn't go into a box, it is a box. <laughs> and the inflatable, you need a pump. So you need a hand pump or an electric pump. And again, from experience, if that pump doesn't work, you can't go kayaking. Uh, so we had an issue where our car actually, the jack in the car wasn't working. And so it took us about half an hour extra to figure out how to get this thing um, inflated. So that's one thing to consider is that the Oryu doesn't require anything to set it up. You just need the kayak and you're ready to go. The inflatable, you need a pump. And if that doesn't work, you're not kayaking. And also for both of these, you need something to clean the kayak after you paddle. I use a microfiber cloth and I keep that in my dry bag. So wherever I am when I um, need to you know, collapse my kayaks, I have it ready to go to clean them. Next up is storage. Uh, so you can see these are in their stored form. So this is the uh, Oryu and fits really anywhere. I actually keep it in my house because that's what they recommend is to not keep it in a garage because of the changing kind of temperatures in a garage. So I keep it in uh, my camping closet and it fits perfectly in there. And then the inflatable, it, um, 
it's a little bit harder to fold up. So the nice thing about the Oryu is it has all the lines where it folds up and it can only fold that way. So you know exactly how it goes back in. But the inflatable, um, every time I put it back in its bag, I have to remember because it folds up a little strange. Um, so that is kind of, uh, every time I fold it up, I'm like, how does it go back? But I'm always able to get back into the bag. Although the bag, I have to do something with it when I'm using the kayak. So, and it could get lost. Now one thing that's probably on everyone's mind when considering a foldable or inflatable kayak is durability. Um, so I will say with the inflatable, it has had way less use than the Oryu kayak. The Oryu kayak is my main kayak and I kayak at least once a week so it's had a lot more use than the inflatable. My mom primarily uses the inflatable um, and she doesn't go out as much as me so I would say the inflatable, we've had no issues with it, we've had no holes, the punctures, anything. Um, I would assume if we had a puncture in the inflatable that it would slowly deflate um, which is again why you wear a life jacket and why you always go with a buddy if not more buddies when you kayak in case something happens like that but uh, we haven't had any issues it did come with a patch kit I, th I think most inflatables come with a patch kit so you have that in case you need it um, but we haven't had any need or issues with that now the Oryu I'm not gonna get into detail I have already made a video about a hole that I got in my Oryu um, and I've had some other issues since then that I'm gonna make follow-up videos on but all that to say is every issue I've had with the Oryu, it still has worked as a kayak. So no, there's been no holes that go completely through where I couldn't use the kayak at all. Um, so every, every issue I've had, I could still kayak with it. They were just more of annoyances that I had to fix at some point. Now, while I was researching this, I actually found that Oryu Kayak had a comparison of Oryu Kayaks to inflatables on their website. So I thought it'd be interesting to read that and kind of give my opinion of what they say here. Basically, it says Oryu Kayaks have many advantages over inflatables. Number one is easy cleanup. Oryu Kayaks need a quick wipe down with a towel after use, then you fold them up until next time. Inflatables need time to dry out for a day after use to prevent mildew. So I would say this is accurate. Um, I would tell you that the Oryu, depending on how much you kayaked and the kind of water conditions, it takes a little bit longer to dry out. Uh, water can get in the corrugated channels of the kayak and so you need to drain that out and wait for it to completely dry out. Uh, so usually if I have that issue where it's not completely dry, I'll fold it up and when I get home, I'll lay it out longer for it to dry out. And with our inflatable, a lot of inflatables have fabric on them and that has to dry out and it takes a long time for it to dry out or it can get mildew. This one doesn't have fabric on it so it really dries out pretty quick but we do make sure it's completely dry before we put it back in the bag. So I would say easy cleanup. Yes, the Oryu is easy cleanup but I would say they both have about the same kind of um, needs when it comes to cleanup. Next it says better tracking. Oryu kayaks cut through the water and track like a dream due to the rigid hull. Inflatables often have poor tracking and can be difficult to paddle. If you want to go fast and stay on course, choose the smooth maneuverability of an Oryu. All right, I will say the tracking, which means like staying straight in the water. Uh, I can track really well with the Oryu. I haven't had any issues trying to control it, but I'll say with our inflatable, it tracks pretty well. It actually has three fins on the bottom, which really helps with tracking. The inflatable does go slower though. So that is true that the Oryu is faster, um, I think, when you're, when you're paddling. Uh, but I think they both are decent on the water and I don't see any tracking issues with this particular inflatable. Next is more durability. Inflatables always have a risk of puncture, so rocks and boulders pose a risk. Oryu kayaks have an extremely tough hull made out of corrugated plastic, and while we recommend avoiding sharp rocks and boulders when possible, our boats are designed to handle bumps and scratches along the way. Okay, so I, having had an Oryu for eight months now, if it was me, I don't think I would write that as one of the pluses. I will say I have scratched the or you a lot again it has not punctured a hole or anything but I just ran over probably like a tree branch just a little tree branch and I'm very very careful when I'm in my Oryu to make sure I don't go over anything but I it did actually kind of take a, a dent out of the out of the plastic without completely going through um, so I would say you have to be as, just as careful with the Oryu as you do with an inflatable. Again, I'm comparing this inflatable. I haven't used any cheaper inflatables, but for more durable, I wouldn't say more. I would say they're about as durable. 
Lastly, they say fast pack up. Or you kayak takes five magical minutes to pack up, while inflatables can be difficult to pack up and fold back into their bag. This is true. I completely agree with this. I think this is a big selling point. The Oryu folds exactly into its box. So there's no guessing it folds back into the box. Like I said with the inflatable, I have to guess every time which way does it turn, da da da. And so there, it's not exactly an exact science how to get it back into the bag. Um, I have always been able to get it back in the bag, but um, it, there is some like guesswork into that. So I would definitely go fast pack up, yes. And it does, um, it doesn't take too long to do. Like I said, this inflatable would retails for a thousand dollars. So would I have paid a thousand dollars for this inflatable? And I have to say, I don't think so. Uh, it's a good boat. It's a solid boat. Everything I've said, you know, that is all true. Um, but if I was looking in the thousand dollar range, um, I would probably look for a different brand of inflatable. So one uh, one brand that I've seen a lot of good things on is Sea Eagle. So they make a lot of different inflatables and there's one kayak I've really been interested in. But again, my hesitation is the fact that it uh, takes kind of a while to inflate and it's loud. That's my biggest hesitation with, uh, with inflatables. We actually have the Oryu, we have the inflatable, and we have a hard shell kayak. So in our family, we have three kayaks now. So I've been debating between a foldable, a hard shell, and an inflatable for my next kayak. Um, I personally have been really happy with the foldable as my primary kayak, as my kind of beginner kayak, but I'm still kind of debating on my next kayak. The biggest hesitation for me with a hard shell kayak is storing it and mostly transporting it. Uh, and that's why I always go back to the Oryu because uh, it's so easy to store and transport. All right, so those are my thoughts on an inflatable and a foldable kayak. If you have some thoughts to share, let me know in the comments below, and I hope you have a great day. <music>